Hello there and welcome to this home practice seed on freeing up the breath. So for the first 10 to 15 minutes, we'll be quite still. So you might want to um, grab another layer, a jumper, even um, a blanket. Um, and because this is a seed, you might also feel like you want to take some notes, um, so some paper and a pen, um, if that works good for you. Um, so today we're gonna to be looking at um, the breath and freeing up the breath. We're gonna be looking at how the breath coordinates with movement, and for me, this, this is really helpful when I use the breath, when I'm moving. It helps to inform the quality of moving. Uh, when I get tired, it gives me a bit more energy. Um, and so what we'll do for the first 10 minutes is we'll choose uh, a position that you're comfortable with. Um, so you might perhaps choose to lie down or you might be seated like me or to be standing uh, is also a possibility. Whatever position you choose, um, make sure that you can feel open in the front surface, the sides and the back. So for example, if I was to choose to sit back into a big sofa, perhaps I wouldn't feel so open in the front of my body. So whatever position you choose, uh, find somewhere where you feel open, your torso is free all around. So from that place, we'll start to tune into first gravity. So just to get settled. So if you need to rearrange yourself, find a way to be comfortable and then bring your attention to perhaps the, the surfaces that are in, in touch with the floor or with the seat. Notice gravity itself. That might be through the feet or through um, the underneath of the pelvis. Or if you're lying down, it might be your whole back surface. And then we're going to start to just to tune in and notice the breath. And for me, I like to um, close my eyes. So feel free to close your eyes. If you're keeping your eyes open, I encourage you to soften your focus and turn away from the screen, if at all possible. And just notice what your breath is like right now. So there's an in-breath and an out-breath. You might notice they have different qualities. They might be long or short, deep or shallow. They might be smooth or they might have some lumps and bumps in there. So this part is just about noticing. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to make your breath do anything in particular. Just notice what's happening in the breathing. And often just by bringing the attention to the breath, the breath will naturally change. And we can let that happen quite naturally. And then we're gonna help bring a bit more attention to the breathing by bringing some touch in. So I'm going to use my hands to touch the place that I feel the breath the most or the biggest movement in the breath. So for me, that's my lower belly. That might not be the same for you. That might be somewhere else on your torso, on your ribs, in the front of you or to the sides or perhaps even in the back. 
And whatever kind of touch that you're using, use that touch to bring a bit more attention, to notice all of the tissues that move as the breath comes in and out. You might have already noticed that there can sometimes be a pause in between the breaths. So notice that too. It might be very brief or it might be quite long. Your, your hands or the touch that you're using helps to bring awareness to the breath. It might help to soften that area too. Sometimes we breathe with a bit of tension that often we don't need. So the hands might help to bring attention and then be able to let that go. And then we're going to move that touch to a different place, perhaps two different places. You might still feel the movement of the breath in these places, perhaps not as much as that first place. And you might notice when touch comes to those places, that might start to change the breathing. It might soften those places, it might be able to make the breathing a bit smoother or a bit larger or deeper. But we're not trying to change the breath, we're just letting the breath be as it is. To change when it will. And try a few different places for that touch to bring attention. Could be different parts in the front of you, or the sides, or the back. Let the breath be really easy. You may also find that being a bit more mobile, you might like to move in your space as you're tuning into the breath. So if you feel like taking a wander through your space as you send attention to your breathing, then you can go ahead. And let's take one last contact point with the touch, tuning into the breath just as it is. No need to change it. But you may notice that it does change over time with attention. You may also be able to include that sense of gravity, that sense of contact with the floor, through your feet or through your seat. And when you're ready, especially if your eyes are closed, come back to the screen. Great. So, it might be important to say that sometimes when we work with the breath, we might really be concentrating hard on the breathing. Um, you might uh, breathe in a different way than you're used to. Sometimes you might feel a bit lightheaded or a little bit dizzy. If that's the case, then just stop, really relax into the breathing and check that your out breath, the breath out is, um, you're really letting the air fully out. Sometimes when we're really trying hard or concentrating hard, we don't fully exhale. And then that means, of course, we don't take as much um, air in either. So make sure you're really breathing out. You're really relaxing with the breath. You're letting all the air out so it makes space for a lot more uh, breath and air and oxygen to come back in. So again, just pause at any point 
Take a few relaxed breaths and then join back in when you're ready. So we'll move on now. And the first thing that I would like to do is teach you a couple of movements and we're gonna coordinate the breath uh, with those movements. We'll try one kind of coordination and then another uh, kind of coordination. And that's so that we don't fix our breathing to a movement and we stay quite flexible and open to change. So the first movement, I'm gonna reach my hands away from me and then I'm gonna bring my hands back. So find a version that works for you. Um, you might choose to bring your hands a little bit uh, lower, for example, uh, so that you're really just taking your limbs, your extremities away from your core or your center line and then coming back towards core or center line. So reaching away and coming back. We're gonna add the breathing into that. So as I breathe in, I'm gonna reach my fingers away. And as I breathe out, I bring my hands back. Breathing in and breathing out. In and out. So keep that rhythm going. Your uh, length of breath or your rhythm might be quite different to, my, to mine. You might be a bit shorter or a bit longer, that's fine. Just go with your own flow, your own um, timing. And as you continue coordinating breath and moving, you might find that the breath and the moving can become one thing, like they unify to become one thing and also you might find that the breath influences the movement or the movement influences the breath. So you can explore this. It might change your timing, change your rhythm. Try a few things out. So it becomes something new. It's not two things happening at the same time, it's rather one thing, one new thing happening. And next time your hands come close to you, we'll pause there. Great. So what I'm really interested in is, in this is what, what happens as I breathe in and I reach my arms away? Does that have a perhaps has a story or a or a, a feeling or a um, a movement in my body that um, makes me think of something else. So as I breathe in, I might feel like perhaps my fingers are growing forward, for example. That might be quite different for you, but I just want you to, to notice um, the particular quality that breathing in and reaching the fingers brings. And then of course, bringing the hands closer and breathing out. We're gonna swap those around. So I'm going to uh, take a breath in and then I'm gonna breathe out as I reach my hands away. Breathing in, hands close and breathing out, hands away. Keep that coordination going and notice how this might change the movement, the feeling of the movement, perhaps a sense of story or a description of the movement. A couple more times. And when you're ready, take a relax. So how was that? Was that different? You might have felt that it was quite similar to the first version. For me, as I breathe out, there's a reaching. It feels like I'm really reaching forwards here. As I breathe in, I feel like I pull something in or gather something close into myself, something a bit more intimate and close, closer to my body. Perhaps that was something, something else for you. 
You might have also felt that there's, um, there's a feeling that you may not be able to describe in words, but you know, wow, it's really different. And this might also help to um, maybe make some notes, write some words about how that was for you. Let's uh, change the movement. So for me, I'm gonna bring my hands a little distance away from my torso. My palms are gonna face my chest here. I'm gonna relax in my elbows and my shoulders and find a, a height for my hands that feels comfortable. So you can bring them lower if that's helpful or higher. Just find something that works for you. So from here, I'm not going to reach away or bring my, my hands closer. Instead, I'm going to just turn my hands. So this is a little bit different. So I'm turning my palms away from me and then I'm turning my palms towards me. There might be a little twist in my forearms, in my elbows, even in my upper arms and shoulders. Turning the palms away and then turning the palms back in. So quite a simple movement, just a turning or twisting motion with a limb. And then let's coordinate the breath. So if the palms are facing myself, I'm going to breathe out as I turn my palms away. So breathing out, turning the palms away. Breathing in, turning the palms in. Breathing out, palms away, breathing in. And keep going with this for a little while. And then let the breath and the movement affect each other. That might change the look of the movement or the feeling of the movement considerably, that's, all, that's fine. You might find something activates in another part of your body. So for me, I'm feeling like my shoulders and my torso start to get involved. And the next breath out, we'll relax after that. Good, how's that for you? Did that felt quite similar to that reaching action that we had before? Or did it have something else, some other quality? Can you identify that quality or is it a bit more nuanced, a bit more difficult to describe? So just noticing what the difference might be. Let's try the other coordination. So as I turn my hands away, I'm gonna breathe in. And as I bring my hands back, I'm going to breathe out. Breathing in, hands pointing out, breathing out hands turn back to me. Again, your timing might be different to mine. And a couple more twists and turns of the hands. and then rest. How is that for you? So for myself, as I breathe out and the palms go away, there's a little bit of a push. I feel like I want to push something away. But when I breathe in and do the same motion with my hands, it's more like I'm trying to stop something come towards me. Makes me think of, um, uh, a movement um, technique like Qigong or Tai Chi, where there's that, uh, there are these pushes or these defense movements. And then where, as I breathe out, there's a real relaxing, if I'm bringing my palms towards me, there's a relaxing down into my chair. But if I breathe in, there's a little bit of gathering and rising that happens in my body. Perhaps that was similar for you. Perhaps that was quite different. So if you need to practice a little bit longer or you want to take some notes, now's the time to pause uh, the recording and then join back in with your, when you're ready. 
I'm going to clear up my chair away and I'm going to meet you in the centre of the space. So this next section, we are going to start to play with a bit of moving uh, and breathing together, building on what we've already done before. I'm going to teach you a phrase and I'm going to show the whole phrase to start with in case that's helpful for you. There'll be some audio description that goes along with it. If you'd like to skip straight into the teaching, you can go to the next timestamp from here. So here we go. Gathering the arms, bending the knees to prepare, arms reaching out to the side and up, arms down the center line, folding the elbows. I step and reach my hand to the diagonal. I flick one hand and then the other. I turn to the side and wrap my arms around myself. Holding the wrap, I turn to the other side. I open arms and chest upwards to the sky. I return to the preparation to start again. So let's learn the sequence or the phrase of movement first, and then we'll start to play a bit with the breath. So, in a comfortable working position, um, I'm going to start by preparing uh, for the first part. So this, is, this is, is not actually the start of the phrase, it's a preparation. But that preparation is, I'm going to fold in the front of my pelvis, I'm bending my knees, so I'm just trying to gather everything in, coming a little bit closer to the ground, and I'm folding my arms around. So find a version that works for you. That's my preparation. From here, I'm going to stretch my whole body up, taking my arms out to the side and I'm gonna look up. So that's my first movement. So from the preparation, nice uh, folded body, and then I reach up. From here, I'm gonna uh, fold my elbows, draw my elbows down the front of my body, arms down by the side. And then I'm take a step out to the diagonal and reach with my, my hand and my fingers too at the same time. And then I'm going to bring that hand back, come back to a central place. Let's go from the top. So I prepare and then I reach out and up, elbows soften down. I take a step and reach to the diagonal. From here, I'm going to come back and then take a kind of a swatting uh, motion with the back of my hand out to the diagonal, forward diagonal on the other side, and then in quick succession up and behind me. So this uh, movement from the beginning is quite steady. Everything is even, reaching out, and then a quicker motion for those two swats on the front diagonal and the back up diagonal from here. From this place, I'm going to uh, take a, a shift over to the side and wrap my arms around and come to curve my spine here, wrapping my arms around. I push away from this side and I spiral to look in the other direction, keep the wrap of the arms around. And then the last thing we're going to do is release upwards, the chest and the arms open upwards. I look up and then from here, I'm going to come back to prepare, ready to go again. So the whole movement phrase loops and we can do it as many times as we like. So let's go again from the top. I prepare, I reach out and up, stretching tall. I soften the elbows. And I reach to the diagonal. I swat one, two. I curve and wrap my arms around. I spiral in the other direction, coming up tall. And then I release upwards and I prepare to go again. One more time, reaching up and elbows, reaching to the diagonal. Swat, swat curve and wrap, spiral, keep the wrap, open up, and then coming back to prepare and go again. Let's try that with music now. So this music is kind of a real walking pace. It's really steady. And there's no uh, particular counts, although the, 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 the movement will start to um, influence and support our phrase. Ah. Now 
elbows reach and swat swat Ooh, wrap around curve twist and then open prepare one more time elbows down reaching swat swat curve and wrap spiral keep the wrap and open the chest and come back to prepare okay so we're going to try that uh, with one particular kind of um, breathing that uh, you might find influences or changes the, the feeling of the movement. So I'm going to take an out breath for my preparation so that my in breath, my first breath is in as I bring the arms up. I'm going to breathe out to bring the elbows down. I'm going to breathe in for that reach to the diagonal. I'm going to breathe out part, part one, part two. So two breaths out. If it helps sometimes to breathe out through your mouth, I encourage you to do that. And then breathing in for that wrap. Breathing out for the twist. And then here, a breath in. And then a breath out. So that I can repeat with an in breath. So we'll try that two times through um, with the breathing and the music. What I'd like you to do is explore this uh, as we're doing it. And you might find that your timing really changes. So you don't have to stick with me, turn away from your screen as much as you like. Um, and then really explore how the breath and the moving work together to produce something that might be quite new. Okay, so we'll wait for the music to come in. Don't worry about staying with me. Remember, out breath to prepare. Here we go. Breathing in. Out. In. Two breaths out. Out. And in for that high release. And again. Great. Okay. So we've matched the breathing and the movement together. We're gonna switch that up. Um, that's why it's really important to stay flexible, that you don't fix one kind of breathing to one kind of moving, that you can also play, there's room to play there. So uh, that would be an inhalation and an exhalation, uh, sorry, an inhalation to prepare and then exhale. Inhale, elbows down. Exhale for that reach. Uh, an inhalation twice. So a small one, another small one, and then an out breath for this curve and wrap. In for the spiral, and then out. And then in to prepare again. Let's go again with the music. I'm gonna do two times through with this new kind of breath. So we uh, inhale to prepare and then out here. Feel free to um, not go with me. If you might be a bit faster, a bit slower. This is kind of an exploration. So we we'll just try it out in this, uh, this movement. Okay. Take a breath in. Breathe out. 
Breathing in and out. In, in, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, in, out. In, out. Great. Okay, so we're going to do it one last time, two times through. Um, and this time I want you to explore. You might find that something really makes sense for you. Um, you might also find that you're starting to build uh, um, a kind of a, a story. So for here, for example, as I breathe out, I prefer to really breathe out here. There's a reaching here that I can, might be able to extend a little bit more and then a sudden change. Something comes a bit closer and I swat it away. So you can feel free to build an identity of your own phrase with a kind of breathing uh, that works for you, that you most enjoy. Okay, so let's have another go. Two times through in your own timing. You might decide to breathe very slowly and, and do one time through or to perhaps breathe quite quickly and you might make it three times through. So I'm gonna do two times through and join in with me or follow your own rhythm. So for this last part, what we're going to do is we're going to learn a kind of breathing as a starting point and then we're, a bit later we're going to add some movement. So this is a chance for you to be creative, um, to um, sometimes follow what I'm doing, sometimes follow your own way too. I'm going to teach you um, for the next five minutes uh, uh, a kind of a, a sequence of breath, different kinds of breath. So if you want to take a rest, maybe have it sit down, find a resting position, um, then uh, go ahead now. So the first uh, breath in this sequence of breathing is going to be an inhalation <sighs> and an exhalation with sound. Imagine you're just at the end of a long day in your favorite sofa, <sighs> lying back. So take a breath in. <sighs> with a sigh and some sound at the same time. So next breath, we've done an inhalation and exhalation. So the next breath is an inhalation. So I want you to think about, you've got your favorite milkshake or fruit juice, um, a big tall glass and a straw that goes right down to the bottom. You wanna get the very last bit. You're gonna really suck up all that last uh, delicious uh, juice at the bottom through the straw. So we have, from the beginning, we have an inhalation. <sighs> Exhalation with sound. <sighs> so that suck in through a straw, maybe the, the, the mouth, the lips get very small, <sighs> sucking in. The next one, we're gonna take the word happy, but we're gonna whisper it, happy. And then we're gonna chop that word in half until we just have the And then we're gonna repeat that three times. 
So two short ones and one longer one. Great, from the top, breathing in. Great. So we've come hopefully to an out breath. If you feel like you've got lots of air in your lungs for that part and you want to make the, the last one really long, go ahead. So you're nice and empty for the next inhalation. This next inhalation, I think about um, uh, breathing in through my nose, taking a big lung full of air. I imagine a caricature of an opera singer just before they make a big, um, a big uh, final note in an opera. Of course, that's probably completely incorrect and not very accurate in how you really sing opera, but you get the idea. So breathing in through the nose, I like to flare my nostrils if you can. You can uh, do that too if you can. And then the last one is making a s sound for the exhalation. So the air is going out and the tongue is um, making that s, that S sound for snake. S. Let's go from the top twice through. Before we go for our second time, take a breath or two, just really easy ones to calm down. And we'll go again. And we'll build those easy breaths, one or two of them at the end of the phrase before we do any kind of repeating. So now it's up to you to build the movement that you feel really goes with this breathing. You might already have a sense that you have a movement that goes with it, but now we're gonna have a bit of time to construct a movement phrase that coordinates with this kind of breathing. Now, I'm gonna do this alongside. As you're doing it, I'm gonna be working on my own phrase. If you get stuck for ideas, you can just um, copy me, join in with me. But I really encourage you to find your own, your own version. Now, you can do that quite simply. Okay, that's my movement. But you might also try uh, a few different versions. So that might be my first possibility. That might be my, my, second opportunity, uh, my second option that might be a little bit more creative. So for the first one, that might be my first option, or I could explore some other ones. Breathing in. And those second option or that third option might be a bit more creative. So, uh, or you might find that your first option was definitely the best one and you go back to that one. So as we're, as we're creating, explore, try a few things out and then pick your favorite to go into the sequence and we'll build bit by bit until we have um, our full sequence. After the s at the end, take a couple of breaths just to reset, to breathe easy a few times, and your movement may just, you can kind of improvise it. It may just be what it needs to be, so. Before I start again with my breath in and my ha, uh, audible exhalation. Okay, so I'm gonna be working alongside you at home um, let's start with the first one. So that in-breath, 
and the ha. I'm gonna try and be a bit quiet so I don't disturb your working, but as you're working at home, feel free to be as um, audible as you like. Nobody's watching you, so uh, really go uh, and, and explore that breath. It might change, you might find that your, your breathing <sighs> changes, you like to change the timing of that breath. So just feel free to explore. So just finalizing your first breath and your first movement coordinated together. Okay, let's move on to the second one. At any point, if I'm going too quick, you can always pause to have a bit more time. But if we're moving on, the second one, so that would be our sore, sucking in air with a small mouth, finding a movement that coordinates. So. So we don't, try not to be too precious with how you're working. Just really have a go, try things out. You might uh, find some quite ridiculous versions. That's okay. It might really fit in well with, your, with the rest of your phrase. And once you have a sense of what your, your, your movement for this, uh, this sucking in is, just match it to the first one. So put them together. Practice that a couple of times. And when you're ready, move on to the Remember, if you get stuck, you can perhaps follow a version that I've made. Put as much detail in as you like. And fit it into the rest of your phrase. And when you're ready, finding the next breath. So that's our operatic inhalation. And find a way to finish that and move into your inhalation.
make your decision, fit it in with the rest of it. And perhaps go from the top once or twice. And then our last um, breath that we're going to find a movement for is that S, that S sound. Your movement and your breath may change each other. So let that happen. Um, so for example, when we learnt the phrase um, with this S, it was a, s a simple S, but it might change. It might, s s it might uh, take a funny pathway. S s s it might stop and start. So feel free to explore that um, shifting of the sound as well so that it works with your movement. So just a couple more mo min moments to, um, to finish off your phrase. Remember, you can always pause if you need a bit more time. So I'm just gonna try and uh, find my last movement and then practice from the top. And we'll go uh, all together um, after that. And remember your um, breath or two just to kind of reset at the end. Breathing out really easily, easy breathing. And if you want to move with those breaths, or well, you might need to just be still, have a rest before we go again. So just a practice run. Let's, um, let's start from the beginning of your phrase, uh, thinking about the, how the breath supports the movement and how the movement also supports the breath. Here we go. Okay, so just to finish off, we're gonna do that two more times. Um, you may finish before me, or you may finish after me. You may even have time to do your phrase three times through. So I'd encourage you to take your time, really enjoy and savor those um, different qualities that you've created in your movement, with your breathing, with your moving, um, and, uh, see if the breath and the movement can unify to become one thing you can't you can no longer separate them they become one thing that you can't do the movement without the breath and you can't do the breath without the movement okay so when you're ready in your own timing in your own pace let's go
And after you've come to the end of your phrase, just take a few moments to be in stillness, to breathe easy. So thanks very much for joining. Um, I am very curious about what you made. So if you would like to, um, you can uh, film yourself, put it up on your social media and tag uh, Stopgap Dance. Um, I'd love to see uh, what you got up to. Um, if you like this video, click the like button below. You can subscribe to our channel. Um, and also please comment below. You might have been making lots and lots of notes throughout this seed. Um, so you can ask questions uh, and interact in the comments below there. Um, if you're looking for a following class, um, soon there will be released um, Lucy's uh, voice and movement class. Um, and if you want to go back and maybe try some of this breathing, maybe I'd recommend lo uh, looking at Christian's um, gradients of thickness class. You can maybe start to layer in the breathing to that one too. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.